Okay, guys. Lazy. Oh, I can't say the bad word in the first 10 seconds of the video. Because YouTube algorithm. All right. So anyways, lazy AF. So eater God. Okay. Full moon harvester. Now, before I go, it, it, it's a lot of slides, boys. It's a lot of slides. For those that don't know, I got that Slayer guide, right? For Punisher Predator. So, I made all these uh, slides. Oh, that slide was supposed to be secret. But anyways, there's a lot of slides. Now, I want to say before I show the slides, that it's not, a, whoa, it's not, it's not a hard class. The difficulty is like, we just saw a YouTube video. A Korean YouTuber, he put it at a one star, right? out of five in terms of difficulty is not hard okay but i'm still tell you guys like the fundamental tips and tricks and stuff like that what you need to know um you don't have to play by it but you just need to know it and one day if you want to really master it you could do that but just i want to preface that it's not a hard class by any means and if you're asking where is the wait 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 wait, 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 wait a minute what is the other one called guys chat Wait, what is the other one called? I mean, I know the name of it in English, but I forgot it. What is this called? The new... The, 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 wait. Hold on, let me get a drink. The new name, boys. Don't make me get on the PTR, man. What is the new name, man? Whatever, man. It's called, like, the dark side of the moon from Transformers. Whatever. But today, I'm going to do the full moon uh, harvester. That's the official name. And uh, we're going to go into the next one. We're going to do the crit one. If you want that, I need you guys to. I'm going to do it. I'm a, I, I don't really ask for YouTube subs. I never do that. I think it's just a waste of time. And it, it is a waste of time. I'm dragging this video out, as you can see. Not because of ad revenue, because I'm an old man. I talk a lot, right? But anyways, if you guys hit a like and the video gets like 300 likes, maybe that's too easy. I'll do the crit build as well. I will give you a recommendation of like the meta, the very easy, smooth, buttery, silky, smooth crit bell guide as well anyways video dislike ban this kid all right next all right wait before we get right in don't forget the exclusive oh yeah twitch drops coming wednesday with the soul eater launch there's gonna be a lot of things coming our way we got the mokoko mokoko express whatever it's called these days with uh the road thing road to what was it called this time soul eater or something like that yeah, so you got that. Uh, if you're wondering, what should you build? I have a video right here. You could check it out. I have my recommendations. Uh, but yeah, that's there as well. If you want to check it out, it's the latest video in my channel. You just click the icon. You know how to use YouTube.com. Anyways, guys. Uh, also, get your gamer subs, guys. Use my code. Let's go to the gamer subs. You could get like... Uh, what the... What was a problem loading, loading the site? Excuse me. Guys! What's, what's, what's the problem here? Exclamation GG in chat. Exclamation GG. Hey. What's, 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 why we got, hey. The side has a, it's getting a problem here, guys. So the, anyways, uh, if you want to get the, <laughs> you know, there's a little bit of a problem, okay? There is maybe getting DDoSed, okay? But uh, if you want to get this cool shirt, right? Hold on, man. Hey, you guys don't Twitch Prime enough. I gotta do my ad, okay? If you wanna get this cool shirt, man, okay, and this drink, no chalky aftertaste, no nothing at the bottom. Look at that. You just shake it once, okay? Go to that, go to that link, man. It'll be in the video description or in the pinned comment. I, I'm selling out right now, right? It's my official sponsored drink. I drink it every day. It's good. I like it. Get your titty milk free delivery. You could give it the free trials. I was gonna show you that. They deliver worldwide, dude. Okay. I don't know. Anyways, guys, let's get back to my... S Excuse me. Is this full screen or what? There. Okay. Uh, by Soul Eater. Okay. I don't know why I put that slide. Anyways. Full Moon... <laughs> uh, yo, full Moon Harvester. Okay. Why would you play it? Is it hard to play? Does it got utility? Is it modernized? Is it easy to gear? Is it uh, OP all-in-one skills? Like, does it have everything? Does it have, like, destruction, stagger, like, mobility? Does it have counter and blah, blah, blah? Uh, so it, why should you play it? Well, because it answers, everything's tied together. Is it hard to play? No. Does it got utility? Yes. Is it modernized? Absolutely. It's the latest class. Hello? 
the, like like Smallgate is getting exponentially better at making new classes. And I don't include gender locks in new classes. I'm talking about real new classes. Okay, I'm talking about Soul Eater, right? Uh, not Slayer. Slayer is also very recommended and easy to play. Blah blah blah. It's easy. Blah blah. blah. Okay, that's in that previous video, but. Nothing compares to Soul Eater in terms of animations, graphics, skill cast animations, skill speed, right? Um, if you look at any like Soul Eater guide in Korea, they talk about the speed, animation speed being pretty crisp. We'll talk about that. There is one that is pretty long and that's a good thing. We'll talk about that. So is it easy to gear? I think so. We'll talk about why. Is it modernized? Absolutely. Does it got utility? Yes. Are you brought for your synergy? No. You're brought for damage. And does she have damage? Yes, yeah, she does in at least the full moon harvester the other build is also viable we'll talk about that in a separate video though and my comments about that one why should you play it because it's new it's good it does a good job it's easy to play feels good sounds good looks pretty and um gets the job done i recommend it it's new it's a new car okay it's not like some beat up old home bro i don't recommend you sleep in that one and uh all in one skill we'll talk about that for example uh she has a skill like this one right here. I, I can't pronounce it. Astaros. Astaros. Okay. It's got a uh, mobility. You move halfway across the screen. It's got destruction. It's got stagger. Pretty high. Okay. It's got um a super armor. Okay. Gives gauge. Right. It got a lot of things in one. Like this, look at this guy. It got destruction. It got some stagger. Okay. It's got a uh, super armor. It's got a counter. It gives gauge. It gives tenacity. Wow. Is that a lot? That's a lot in two skills. Wow. It's pretty cool. And it's a double tap. Double tap counter. It's not like if you miss the first one because you're a boomer like me, your second hit, your second hit also lands. And actually, um, the, the way you face this counter, it's not like the narrow, like the gunslinger pistol counter. It's not that little, little narrow little thing like my cock, right? In the morning. It's pretty wide. It's, you'd be amazed about like uh, how many things you can get away with. Like you counter from the side a little bit and uh, you still get away with it. It's pretty cool. That's called modernization. Okay. So let's look at why not just Soul Eater, but why would you play Full Moon Harvester, right? What's the difference between the crit one and Full Moon? I'm going to call it Full Moon, okay? Full Moon Harvester, that's too long. Why? Well, let's look at the max eye level. Right? Why are we looking at that? Because uh, this this is like this is not just for it's very detailed. So it's for like soul eater actual enjoyers, not someone who about to do low pang. Okay, I mean you could do low pang. We'll talk about that later. But it's for those that actually care about this one, this girl soul eater main. And what do mains do? The ones that are fully invested, rushing the freak out. What are they doing? They're playing full moon. Now let's look at this video that we watched. Uh, Twitch.tv four slash deals ambitious. Join us, guys. Follow the stream. Get those drops. Look at that. Soul Eaters. We have 190 Soul Eaters in the end game of 1630 I level and above in Korea. That's not a lot. It's not a lot because it is so hard. We talked about this with Chad extensively. It's not easy to drop your main and bust out a new character and get it to end game I level or gear status. Very hard to get the gems, the stone, accessories, I level, elixir. Blah, 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 right? Now with Transcendence. But for those that took it there, to took it to, they're like, oh, dude, she's worth it. I'm going to take her. I'm going to push the barriers. I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to spend ten, uh, five figures or four figures uh, and get her to the end game. The 170 of them. What did they choose? They chose to play mostly full Moon Harvest. As you can see, the distribution here at 1655 to 1630, right? 69% are playing Full Moon Harvester, okay? Because they want to see the receipt. What is receipt? Uh, it's a commonly used phrase in Korea where people are saying they want to see, like if they invested this amount into their bracelet and they gain 3% power, they want to see that in the fight. Like they want to see that through a big hit, not into, not like multi hits, like little baby taps. They want to see their growth, the progression, that what they have put in there. Right. Also, is it's easy to play, easy to gear, and um, rotation is pretty simple. It's got everything that people want. Big dick damage, right? 
sucks good synergy and the uh, receipt easy to play pretty simple to gear gets the job done so it's highly recommended right so for example most korean players uh like to build what is like easier to gear and understand for example uh war dancers were not that popular because they had like 60 different builds uh, when a new player comes to this class like war dancer they're like uh they just want to go to the forums like invent and just look at war dancer guide they click it one build cookie cutter oh five engravings like the the old lunar reaper days right cookie cutter but then when they go to the war dancer forum there's like 60 different builds they're like no i'm out just give me a cookie cutter build full moon harvester is pretty much that okay all right next full moon harvester at 1580 and above right 1580 is like when where pretty much like the Bococo event and the soul i mean the road to whatever event ends and as you can see as we go down the range it's pretty split why is that because if you're not gonna main something it really don't matter if you're gonna play shock or taijutsu it doesn't matter if you're gonna play first nintendo or esoteric it doesn't really matter same thing right now with striker it's literally down the mid death blow or eso right same thing with soul eater it doesn't matter they're both viable they're both great but if you want to see the receipt you want to like take it to the next level you know you know you got a fucking static group you want to be the mvp the big dig you got like six million gold invested saved up in mats you want to take it to the main level then full moon harvester is where people are taking her it's just the fact it's not an opinion data is data next all right let's see so why people play this why do people rush this the 170 bozos why do they rush this bozo okay what is a receipt dealer? Let's see it. Waiting for the break, waiting for the break, waiting for the break. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. There it is. Fine, but I'm ready. Bursting. Igniting. Holy shit. Oh. That was one break, bro. That's one break, right? <clears throat> Wait a minute. What happened to the other clip? Hold on, man. What is this? I can't open three videos at once. What is this? No multitasking allowed. I open three videos, man. Okay, there's another one here. Wait, wait, wait. That's a. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on. Who did Atro? I Atro. Okay, thank you. Wait, hold on. Is this like copyrighted music? I gotta talk over that copyrighted music. Copyrighted music, dude. Hurry up! Is it copyrighted music? Holy yo! What, yo, 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 yo! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! I'm making some loud what noises so it just... covers the freaking. I'm done! I'm done! Yeah, it, it's basically Proko died before the night came out. Okay, that's TLDR. Okay, it's, it's OP. Okay, nice. All right, next. Um. Uh, let's see. I think. Well, I think you guys get the point, right? But let me see here. Do I have the Mario? Uh, let me see if I have this one. He's gonna disappear. Yo, bro, I think I got a copyright music here. Here, okay, here, here. Okay, hey, dude. Okay, Mario won't skip. Okay, all right. It's not that hard. Okay, anyways, you guys can do that too. Next. All right, so why we play Full Moon? Because we see the receipt. We see the big number. We see the goal we spent, the time we spent honing. It's, it translates to in-game, right? You can see the big number. Combat. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Combat stats. Uh, yeah. So crit spec, guys. High spec and rest into crit. Don't freaking come in here and be like, swiftness? No. No swiftness. Okay. I mean, you don't have to listen to me. You can go swiftness, little swiftness bracelet. You want to try, try, try cut corners? Cut a little swiftness? Then do it. All right, you don't have to follow this. It's not the Bible, okay? You guys do whatever the freak you want to do, okay? But I'm just going to say it. Spec, crit, swift. Swiftness has low value. Full moon harvester. Or let's look at the stat distribution. Attack speed, 12% yearning, level 3, okay? Are you still playing with yearning level 1, guys? In the end game? I don't know about that, but... Death Lord mode, okay? Death Lord mode is when she goes into her identity it gets all dark okay and a spooky ghost comes out cool that's 10 percent attack speed and then 
She's got the fast, modernized animation. She's got pretty fast, snappy cast animations. That's good. It doesn't matter, though. This doesn't matter because this is 12% plus 10%. That's, you know, that's not 40%, right? Just keep that in mind. Movement speed, however, is different. We got 12% from Yearning, 19.2 from Lunatic Edge, which is a skill, your synergy skill. It's, t it's two skill in one, right? You got the party synergy, 6% damage taken, which is applied with the hits. Now, with the balance patch in Korea, they changed it so that you don't hit, have to hit the boss or a mob to get the movement speed portion. I don't, um, the, not, the movement speed portion is 19.2, so you can use that while running to the Guardian, right? You don't have to hit anything. But it is self-buff as well as a synergy skill. Two in one. Hmm. War Dancer, hello? How come we can't have that? Anyways, uh, she's got that. So, 19 plus 12. And then Death Lord mode has 20%. So what does that tell you guys? So Ray Captain. Ray Captain 15 uh 14.5% damage increaser with no feast. Now with feast, she is at 16.29 with a 5% feast. If you have a 3.5%, then it's in between these two numbers, right? And then 18% when you're in the Death Lord mode move. Um Death Whoa, whoa, whoa. Death Lord mode mode. If you're in the Death Lord mode, mode, then you have max movement speed, so your rate captain is 18%. But what about per cycle? If you do the math, it is 17.34. TLDR rate captain is good. Now, what the hell does a cycle mean? Cycle means if you play the Igniter or Punisher Slayer, cycle means not just press one skill once and that's a cycle. That's like a cycle class like First and Ten War Dancer. Cycle here means get engaged process the three vestiges and then the burst phase the death lord mode that is a complete cycle you rinse and repeat those until the boss dies right that's how it works next why not swiftness continued if you read the class engraving after release right in your own version i can't put the the na version here because it's not out yet there is cooldown reduction and cooldown reset on your purple skills okay purple skills are your uh reaper skills what the frick what was it called uh no 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 sorry death lord skills death lord skills i think that's the official name the conclusion is swiftness has low value okay i'm gonna cut spike spike swiftness brace then do it okay you could do it it could help you with keeping your adrenaline up but you don't need it all right next set hallucination versus nightmare Okay, just read this. Do you hate white text? You don't, you hate like not critting? Then go hallucination. Do you hate ether predator? Because you don't have a 9-7? Then go hallucination. Um, now like nightmare doesn't have to run ether predator. Like nightmare doesn't have to go ether predator one and adrenaline three, right? Uh, I am a new soider with low set level, right? Like for example, uh, what I'm trying to say here is like, you don't have a lot of like, you're not getting a lot of crit. Okay. Then go hallucination. I'm below 1540 eye level and not going to go ancient accessories. Right. So you're not going to go five XP plus one or plus two or go in great uh, elixir route because elixir gives 7% more crit. So you're not going to take it that far. Then in that case, just go hallucination. Okay. I don't care if I crit. Or not, I want the receipt. Like when I do crit zeals, I want to see that big daddy number like you just saw. The highest number my character can possibly pump out. I want to see it on my screen, then go nightmare. I have a reverse nine seven and nine is adrenaline. Go nightmare. I I have a standard nine seven and seven is adrenaline. Then go nightmare. I want a little faster cycle and more, more, I want a faster cycle and more control in the end game like i want to be the driver right like hallucination is like tesla it's just like autopilot it's kind of boring nightmare you can control when you burst harder you can control when you run out of mana so that you get the endless mana and then you got the shorter cool down we'll talk about that soon um and then you can control that it's a little bit of like mind play then go nightmare okay next continued nightmare higher potential damage per cycle Please understand that very carefully. Potential. Higher potential. Want one out of mana because endless mana. Okay, what is endless mana? If you read the set bonus, this is at level 3 Nightmare. 
23% cooldown reduction as well as 12% attack speed and movement speed. Okay, so if you're really good at endless mana, not that it's hard or anything. It's not freaking Harvard uh, thesis, okay, or dissertation, all right? It's not that hard. But if you know how to control it a little bit, then like you won't feel the the negative from mass increase. And uh, yeah, the CDR is really nice. You can get the gauge faster and feels faster than hallucination where you're waiting for the skills to come up. There's no like, there's no real change. There's no like buff or change that affects the rotations. Like no spice. Right? It's like steak with no seasoning. So more freedom with runes and tripods and stuff like that. The downside is not enough minerals. As in not enough crit. Okay? That might bother you. Okay? We but wait, wait, we could we could we could we could we could fix that. We could fix that. So let's talk about uh hallucination. Higher average DPS, but lord the APC damage per cycle. Higher average Hi, DPS usually equals more consistent MVP. Okay, thank you guys. Keep throwing your primes. Thank you for the one year. Appreciate those. Okay, this took me like multiple hours to set up. Just kidding, five minutes. But yes, uh, so average, higher average, like full floor DPS or even average DPS, it might end up being better for you, right? Just instead of um critting hard one time and then you wipe and you're like the next attempt you don't crit as much as nightmare and then you lose mvp you're not even in the family portrait right like that might like be pretty sad for you okay the downside less freedom with runes and tripods is a boring rotation what does this mean it does not mean it's a boring class it's just like i just explained explain it. it's pretty cookie cutter there's nothing that gives you cdr or attack speed right like cdr attack speed i love i love that like if you played World of Warcraft or Diablo, right? You like you like CDR, the, the heroism or bloodlust, right? Having control over that is cool. And then you might have over a crit, okay? Like for example, like you got crit synergy, you're like a little bit too much crit now, okay? And mana, you gotta eat mana food, right? Like like the thing is, uh, in Nightmare, do you have to eat mana food? If you, it depends. Like it depends on your support. It depends on your playstyle. Like. You want to kind of gauge that yourself as Nightmare because you want to control endless mana when you go out of mana and then when you get mana so that you can burst in the Death Lord mode, have that uh, endless mana buff go away. OK, right. Like it's that Gunsinger, right? OK, so Nightmare, you might want to mana food up or sometimes not. I don't usually because I could control endless mana without it better, but it's very personal. OK, it depends if you have a little Ayaya giving you mana or if you got a Bard. Or other support. Okay. So, anyways, set hallucination versus nightmare. Still, what to choose? Look at your crit rate. If you can't decide, look at your own crit rate. So, 14% coming from the engraving. That is flat. Okay. Plus, death lord mode, you get 20% extra. Plus, look at your base crit. Okay. Base crit, uh, 650. I rounded it up to 650. I'm just going to round it down to 23% crit. Okay. So that is the uh, the basis here. My my brace is not cracked. I could get it'll be a little bit higher, okay? But anyways, we're talking about thirty seven percent crit, flat, and in Death Lord mode fifty seven. Now, that's low as frick, right? So adrenaline one it goes up by five, and then if you have adrenaline one plus hallucination hallucination level three, then this is where it gets to seventy to ninety percent. This is like, this is like the recommended sweet spot, right? Like, you know, you want to have your uh, oven at 350 degrees preheated. That's like the sweet spot right there, boys. Okay. Well, let's talk about why. We already get more crit. All right. There is about 38% crit that we can get outside of uh, what I just talked about from here. Class engraving, as well as uh, the necklace and the bracelet. Okay. So where can we get more crit? Let's talk about that. Bracelet. Did you roll crit on your bracelet? Right? Like ancient bracelet. Did you get 120 crit on it? That is 4.2 uh 4.4.29 percent crit. If you got the end uh the low end, you got 2.14. You don't have crit on your bracelet? What are you doing? But if you don't have it, it's okay. You're missing about two percent, you know, two to four. And then you got precise. Because I know someone's going to be like, Seals, could you pick my show your bracelet? It has 5% precise, but doesn't have crit roll. What's better? Well, freaking look at it. Right? 
This obviously precise is better than having the flat crit roll if you have the 5% precise, right? But anyways, you could get up to this much. You could get 4.29 plus 5. That's like 10%. And the weakness exposure coming from your support. On average, let's say 2.1. That's like 11% crit already. Now, let's say you got a 9.7. Or a 10... 10.6, 10, right? Okay. So that is 10% crit. On top of the previous slide. Okay, so 57. Okay. That's 10% crit. Now, let's see. Where to get more crit? Synergy. 10%. 20%? I mean, come on, man. Like, when, 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 when we get, like, group people... We got, like, a group finder and people apply, right? You got crit synergy. You, you, you tend to put one per group. I don't know a raid leader that's, like, so freaking greedy that put they put the both in one group. I don't know about that. Like, not, not even me, man. I'm not that greedy sometimes. Okay. Elixir is another 7%. Now, Elixir is something that we think we think we think about like like the last step. It's the last thing you want to think about, okay? It's the last thing you want to think about. Cuz like technically you don't want crit on your Elixir, but you will most likely go crit because not any not everybody can roll 5% precise, okay? Or 97, right? Or rely on synergy all the time. But anyways, so that's the last thing we want to like think about. Okay, why we even think about crit? Because it, like people want to play Nightmare, right? They want to have the higher ceiling. They love this baby. They want to main it. They want to go Nightmare. They want to see the big, big daddy numbers. Then we got to think about the crit, right? So what do I recommend? What did I do? I use the free engravings from the Super Mococo, the 5X3. 5X3. And don't, don't be like, oh, okay, see, is it okay to do this or that? Try it. Doesn't matter. It's free. Change it. Go Adrenaline 3. Go Curse Daddy. Go hit master, whatever. Try it out. It's free. You don't lose anything. That's what I did. I tried it out. I did it for free. Okay, with hallucination. Then after cutting a rock, and then after that rock, you start buying accessories. You buy the engraving book. And then, and then, visualize the future. Okay? What kind of bracelet did you cut? Did you get the crit that I asked for? I mean, that that, that, that spreadsheet I asked for. You don't have it? Start thinking about it other alternatives because i don't want you to just cut a rock buy accesses go adrenaline three all right because adrenaline three you'll be over the crit cap as hallucination as you get to set level three you will get to set level three right if you main this uh and then you're like hmm uh i don't like adrenaline three i'm gonna go to adrenaline one that is wasting pounds and gold if you're a millionaire do so give me some twitch primes give me some subs uh me uh you know at the same time but like i i, I don't know about this double Gearing your accessories twice. I don't know about that. Like, not, not, not even me would do that. I did not do that on my Soul Eater. But if you want to do that, by all means. But yeah, I would not do that. I'm just telling you what I did. I used a free shit. And then cut the rock. And I decided to go Nightmare. That's what I did. Alright, so the golden rule. What you need to understand is 70% crit flat. 80% crit for a Reaper Scythe. Reaper Scythe. Okay. What the frick is that, Zeals? It's this skill purple purple skill okay it's your number two uh damage now people ask me like what is the the damage distribution of your skill uh is this just the hardest hitting skill what is the hardest hitting? well let me tell you um the hardest hitting skill right now is guillotine swing and then it's uh reaper scythe in korean this is called soul sinus okay and then it's vestige now this vestige has two sh two 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 charges right so two vestiges obviously win soul status, right? So, but if we're talking about per scale, what has the most bang for the buck? Then that it is in this order, Q, W, A. Uh, what the? Q, W, E, okay? Anyways, Reaper Scythe has, if you go tripod tenacity, let's look at it. If you go uh, Tenacity, then this skill is a back attack skill. Like Gunsingers, they have a tripod to change it from a back attack to an all position attack. So you could go this route and it no longer is a back attack. However, we're going to not do that. We're going to keep the Tenacity and make it a back attack. And if it's a back attack, what happens? Y'all know this by now. If you're watching this, you should know the basics. You get extra 10% crits and 5% damage. 
So we got to account for Reaper Scythe crit. So it is 80%. In Dar uh, the Death Lord mode, we go to 90% crit. And your Reaper Scythe goes to 100%. Right? So you don't want to over crit. Okay? Now, before we go to like, oh, but deals, like, you know, if I go to Luke's State, should I have like 87 to like 90% crit? Shut! Like, yeah, so why? What's your point? What is your point? Lost Ark is a game where crit damage is so high that it is so worth getting crit. Crit is like you should be thinking of critting all the time in this game. Imagine not critting, man. Okay. And there's no such thing as enough crit. 80%, 90%, not enough. Okay. As I, 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 I just showed you. Okay. And I'll show you in, 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 in math why. Okay. I'll show you the math. I'll prove it. Engraving set in stone. Okay. No deviation here. Graje, Keen Blunt, Ray Captain and Class. Done. Next. Okay, why Keen Blunt? At 7090, the golden sweet spot, we're getting 18% efficiency, 18% damage increase. 21 in Death Lord mode. Okay? Per cycle, we're averaging 20% damage increase. Excuse me, that's high. That's high as hell. Because our crit is high as hell. Okay? AKA real good. Keen Blunt is real good. Real good. Next. Curse Daddy vs. Hitmaster vs. MI vs. Soccer. I mean, uh, what is that? Supercharge? Yeah, Supercharge. Alright, let's talk about it. I will no longer, to after this day, answer these questions in chat. I will just pinpoint to this video. Thank God. Hitmaster, no tenacity on the longest and most important skill, Reaper Scythe. Remember... Soul Eater is praised for her snappy animation. Class rework, the balance patch, brought other classes to this modernized uh, cast speed, right? Nobody want to play no 2014, 40 minute cooldown. Back in the day, Lost Ark was designed where the skills were like meant. This is what the developers said themselves. They want you to think hard before you use that skill. Had long cooldowns, long animations, right? Ain't no way, but we're not playing that game right now. We're playing the 2023 Lost Ark, okay? Right? Like, Reapers got snappier. Obviously, playstyle is the same. They were hurting snappies, yes. Yeah, but they're snappier, okay? Same thing with, uh, like, War Dancers and Scrappers. Okay, uh, you know, I, I know Destroyer didn't get as much, but they still got snappier. Right? Like, you want to be able to fit in fast skills so you can get the hell out. Before you get one shot by Thamon, like, the harder raid you go to. Right? And then what if like a counter mechanic happens and if you don't counter, it's literally a wipe. Or you have five seconds to stagger or it's literally a wipe. You want to fit in as many skills as possible. But Soul Eater has one skill. You still have, you still want to have one skill going to Thamine that has a lot of cast time. And that is Reaper Scythe. And you don't, I recommend you to try both, but I recommend Tenacity. Tenacity is slept on, but you will embrace it once Thamine comes out. Okay. Tenacity will save you. You want tenacity on Reaper Scythe. One of your longest skill animations. Okay. Like, and Hitmaster doesn't affect Awakening, Bleed. Is Awakening like a big deal? No. Is Bleed a big deal? No. Okay. Head back attack types. It does not affect that. Right. Hitmaster is still a good choice, but it is not the choice because it loses tenacity. Why would you want to lose tenacity on your second hardest hitting skill in the longest animation time? Like, let me show you an example. I'll show you the example. Okay. This is my scythe. Okay. I'm casting Reaper Scythe. And if I get hit by the boss with no tenacity, I fall on the ground. And the skill doesn't go off. If the skill doesn't go off, you do no damage. And if you're on the floor, you're prone to getting ass fucked by the boss, okay? Not only do you lose that animation, I mean, not only do you lose the skill, you do no damage, you're on the floor, and then you gotta use your get up skill, which has a 30 second cooldown, and if you use it and you fall down again, you're a sitting duck. Why would you not protect that? Why would you not protect that skill? It's your second hardest hitting skill per skill, and you wanna be on the ground because you don't wanna protect it because I wanna use a hit master. How do you hit master? You kidding me right now, man? Not so. You, what? The, what are we even talking about? Let's see on paper. On paper. I don't want to talk about on paper. Okay, next. 
Uh, cur cur curse Daddy. Demonstration of why tenacity is so good. I just, I just did the demonstration. Okay. I'm one slide ahead. Getting a little bit ahead right now. Getting some armpit sweat. And, uh, cool down, uh, cursed all pop penalty. Okay. I mean, if you're watching this video, you're probably used to this by now. Okay. Uh, diminishing returns with atrophine, an additional, not multiplicative. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It's fine. And damage reduce, uh, uh, diminishing returns with adrenaline one, obviously, as well as elixirs, because elixirs gives 1.44% attack power. Uh, so it has a little bit of diminishing returns, but still has good value because tenacity protects you. Stop thinking about on paper. Think about it in an actual fight. This will save you. Not only that, it will get the skill off. And you want to be able to hold it for an extra second after the fully charged so that you get the full benefit of tenacity. Okay. And mass increase, same as Curse Daddy, with no pot penalty. Obviously, you get a little bit more attack. That's about 70.2% value, but who cares? Um, attack speed, not max, right? I showed you guys earlier that so, uh, Full Moon does not have attack speed maxed out, okay? Now, you can... Uh, compensate for this penalty with endless mana so that when you're getting engaged, you don't really feel that big uh, difference. However, this is not something I recommend. This is very niche for really hard hitters like Aster Weapon in a static group. Like, I know what I'm doing. I will risk dying to use Mass Increase. So this is not really recommended, okay, by all guide makers. But it is an option. It is the ceiling for ultimate ones that are in Giga Juiced groups doing deal... Um, what is the word I'm looking for here? Uh, you just do so much damage. The group does so much damage. You just go from mechanic to mechanic to mechanic to mechanic. Okay, in that case, you want to have to have the highest DPC damage per cycle. All right. But like, is it worth it, dude? For that little... No, man. Engravings. Supercharge, weaker number. It's about 12%. Uh, you know, Hitmaster is about 15.2. And, you know, right? So, so is supercharge like worth it? No, but it's cheap, right? Like, how do you make it cheap? You put the supercharge on all your accessories, right? Like, you go like 3.6, 3.6, or 5, whatever you do, right? That's how you get it cheap. Is it recommended? No. Is it not viable? I mean, it's not, not viable. It's viable, right? But we're talking, we're chasing the ceiling here, right? What do I recommend, Curse Doll? Okay, I tried all the settings and you could do the same. I'll show you that in game. This is for actual like soul eater enjoyers, right? How do we change that? So I want you guys to start gearing your characters. If you love that character, like you are going to main it. Like I'm talking like, uh, like Reaper as well. Like you want to get a spec Thirst Reaper class ring or earring. Why spec? I mean, you got to go spec one slot anyways for one piece. And then go rest swiftness. And then once you join like a jacked group, you want to go a little bit more specky. But because you have the spec Thirst Reaper earring or ring, you don't have to buy another one. Okay? So like that's the example. It's not a very good example. But we could just buy it like this. Whatever. Okay, anyways. But what I'm saying is you could have gone full, sweat, full spec or 1600 swiftness by not changing the accessory. Is what I'm saying. Just like don't do the same thing twice is what I'm saying. So let me give you an example here. Okay, so this one is, uh, this one right here has Curse Daddy 3. Curse Daddy 3, and this one has Supercharge 3, and this one has Hitmaster 3. So if I want to play Hitmaster, right, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do progression today. I'm kind of scared of my potion charge. Uh, where's Hitmaster? Okay. Now you could do it like that, right? You could gear it like that if you have the engraving books. I heard engraving books are pretty cheap in an AEU, right? And like, let's say you're a millionaire, as in like you got millions of gold laying around, then you could do something like this, and I highly recommend this for like other classes as well, right? You could do this with war war dancer. You could go mass uh, mass increase or curse doll as an ESO war dancer by just switching one slot, right? Or you could go keen. Um, uh, there's other cases where you could do this. There's plenty of cases. I just can't think right now. Okay. Chat, engravings are cut off. Okay, good. So like this. I'm just saying, think about your options. You know, you make if you're playing this game for a longer time, why not? Like for example, if I want to go mass increase, I put mass increase and just buy a mass increase uh, accessory for like 5k. Or if I have to go up ether predator for like for example, like a gunslinger, then I just go ether predator here and then put an ether predator accessory for Thamine progression. Okay, so just something to note where is uh supercharge. 
uh we're yeah supercharge you can do the supercharge like that and then just change this guy okay that's why i cut grudge adrenaline man mm. and then like that i could try that and i have tried that i have tried that in all the raids so i'm speaking with a little bit of experience here trust me on this and what do mains choose in kr so let's go into full screen excuse me Excuse me. A uh, little bit of uh, technical issues. Okay, so. All right, so let's look at the engravings of the mains. All right, like there are 170 soul eaters doing Thamine hard. Out of those, let's talk about the ones that like took it to the next level. They, they like, like love this so much that they pour their entire house fund onto their soul eater. So let's look at them. 25 of them are playing spec. Okay, full moon. And 2%, I mean, 2 are playing the other. But let's not talk about that because they're not using Mass Increase. They're going to use Cursed All. I checked myself what they're using. So out of those 25 Soul Eaters that are playing Spec, how many are using Hitmaster? 6. This guy has Reverse. Rebozo. And uh, for Cursed All, as you can see, we have 15 of those. Okay? And then one one uh, nine seven Reverse. Rebozo. Okay? So as you can see, that people are choosing Cursed All. Okay? And there are 2 Hitmaster Andes. All right? And they have S weapons. All right. So next, Elixir. Crit rate versus crit damage. I want to include everything. Crit damage has a higher ceiling above about 80% um, crit. Okay. Now, uh, you don't want to go 80% crit, right? Like, you're going to be kind of over crit uh, if you get crit synergy. But yeah, so in general, crit damage wins when you're above 80% crit. So in death lord mode, uh, crit damage will excel, right? But like, don't worry about this too much go with the crit rate first okay and what about crit damage versus flat damage on the panties so the panties have an option and that is the best in slot option uh if you have if you i know you cannot read the korean but my pants are best in slots it is five attack level five 767 flat attack and seven percent crit damage that is best in slot it is irreplaceable crit damage is what i recommend numerically it wins okay all right next skills and tripods holy are you ready for this two types of skills there are two types of recommended builds there is a coffin tech it's called a three two three okay three is purple sorry hold on uh three is the green this mm, what is that thing called Sig Sig Sigian skill, I think it's in the NA. And then the two is the Scythe skill. And then there are, this one is the Death Lord skills, purples. And yeah, that's all you need to know because people are be like, oh, you're playing the 323? Like, what the hell? Is that like a area code, man? Is that a gang signal? No, it's just like, you don't need to really know it, bro. Okay, all you need to know is there's a coffin tech. And it, the reason I'm talking about this is the spec cutoff. You're like, you said it was an easier gear. Oh, uh, why is it easier gear? Well, look at the spec cutoff. It, when you have all the runes, right? Uh oh, OCD kicking in, dude. Okay, anyways, uh, I'm not sharing this with anybody. But yeah, so if you have the orange, um, orange rune, uh, the wealth rune, not gauge rune, but the same thing. And then you got all the runes, ba like basically you got all the wealth runes and shit like that. It's 1780 with no auto attacks, okay? Auto attacks give gauge. We talked about this in the Slayer Guide. Now, if you don't have the extra purple, is that, is that, yeah, it's game over, Zeals. No, actually, you could remove the purple, and then you can remove the blue, and you're still okay by putting the orange in death order, coffin, the purple, and Astra Ghost, the blue, with 50-54 spec. So you can still play it. You just got to change the tripod. Just got to change the tripod on the vestige. What the hell is X double equis? What is that, Zeals? So that's, uh, if you watch my Slayer guy, it's very simple. So in the Vestige, Vestige here, in the second row, just choose this guy. Okay? Alright. That's how it goes. Next. So the spec cutoff is not that bad, is it, chat? It's not that bad. Obviously, you want to be here. Right? Because spec does spec means more damage. Right? Spec coefficiency is insane for Soul Eater. It was insane. It got nerfed. But it's still insane. Right? And um, next, we have the gem priority. Gem priority for the coffin tech. Guillotine, Vestige, Reaper, Scythe. Okay? 
Now, you could go five damage. You could go five damage, but nobody actually does that. This probably, like, like we're talking like, like the, 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 the jackedest groups ever doing like some really minuscule fast content like Volton. Maybe in that case, we could do something like this. Five damage, man. You don't have to do five damage, Jen. Nobody does that. Nobody, nobody, not a single person. Okay? Most do three. If four. Okay? Four. It's just do three. Okay? Just do three. Trust. All right? What? What's the point of a five damage and three damage? Okay, the, the point of a less da uh, da damage gem is you get more cooldown gem. Right? Obviously. What does that translate into? In actual fight, your floor goes up. Okay? Because if you make a mistake, cooldown, cooldown gen helps with that. Okay? So the priority is Vestige, Astragos, Death Order, Coffin. I just want you to know the priority because people are going to ask, Zeus, can I not play with seven gems? Or, the, you know, like level seven gems, okay. Right? Like, it's okay. Right? There you go. Next. Scales and tripods. Two types for the one I play. I play this one. Okay. 413. What is 413? It is uh, four coup. Uh, what? Hold on. Four blue, uh, green skills. Four green. Okay. It's the Stygian. St 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 and then uh, Scythe. Okay. And three purple. Okay. Just go by color, guys. Let's dumb it down. In that case, spec cutoff is 1767. No uh, auto attacks with the all the wealth runes. Excuse me. Where is the print? Anyways, and without it, it is 1570 spec. What is the difference in this time? You have about two to three seconds because you got to wait for uh, one of the skills to come back off cooldown. Okay, so you got to use one more skill. Okay, in actual fight, would you notice this? Not really. Not really. Why? Because you're running around anyways. It's not tricksing, okay? You're not going to notice this at all. So what am I saying? Spec is important, yes. If you're going to treat her like your waifu, like, you know, your babe... Your, your actual wife, you want to give her a nice customization, you want to take her to the moon, you want to thrust, you want to do that crazy big dick damage, you want to have spec. But let's say you don't have the gold right now, but you still want to enjoy her while you save up the gold to go take her to the moon. Like you want to save up for the honeymoon, right? You can't go to, you can't go to, uh, not Vegas, but like um, Hawaii, you can't afford a diamond ring, but for now you want to get her something, then start here, right? It's not like, oh, if I don't have the spec, me, I can't play it. No, you can't play it. You can enjoy her still. While you save up, okay? So our 413 drain tech, this is the, the priority, okay? Damage gem, guillotine, vestige, reaper scythe, cooldown, vestige, drain, astra, death order, gluttony, lunatic. Okay. Once again, don't go fire damage gem, okay? It's not worth it, dude. Unless you're like trying to do like a double uh Volton bus. Like you gotta get a five damage gem for that, dude. What? Bro, stop. Next. Okay, gate. How do I don't know how to spell gauge? Is it there? Is that it or is it this? There, oh, what the, I had an autocorrect. Okay, anyways, what is the gauge order? This is not important, but for those that want to know, right? Like I said, just roll the freaking face on the keyboard. This class is not hard. All right, Astros is possession meter. What the frick is possession meter? Possession meter is uh, this meter right here. I know you can't see that because my game's kind of cut off. This full screen mode. Okay, let me go into this mode. There it is. That That is a possession meter. She has two meters. Possession and so stones. Okay? So possession meter is what is important. Possession meter two, soul shard, doesn't matter. Death order, possession one, soldier in possession three. But... Um, if you want to do the cycle, you want to use Soul Drain first. But, but, but why Soul Meter 3? It's because it has a longer cooldown. And if you put the skill on cooldown first, right? That's good. Does it matter? Does this does this math matter? No. But it's just there to, you know, prove like those Andy's wrong. But you don't know what you're talking about. Well, I got the facts right here. Anyways, next. What well, players need to rule, uh, rule some rule of uh, rule of thumbs. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that. Let's actually talk about the real stuff. So let's get in the game. Go to Trixionis. Wait, I wasn't recording this whole time. I was recording. Never mind. Holy shit, I was scared. I was getting scared. Oh, I was about to say. I was about to log off. 
So you see that attack speed, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, movement speed, the synergy. They changed that with the balance patch to quality of life. It's awesome. Right? I don't know if uh, NA is going to have that. It came with the latest balance patch, but anyways. Your characters are so pretty. Thank you, man. I mean, I treat them like my wife because I don't have one in real life. Anyways, uh, so I need you to understand something. This is all, like, these are like, it's very easy to play this class, okay? I'm just going to... To tell you some of the things you need to follow, right? One, read the class engraving for the love of God. What the hell? Daily reset. Anyways, it says 40% crit, period. And then uh, talks about the gauge. Now, let's spend the gauge. So let me show you something here. Spend the gauge. This is the Death Lord mode. Isn't that pretty? In actual fight, it could kill you because the screen goes dark. Okay, but it's pretty. Anyways, Death Row mode start. Uh, it lasts 13 seconds. Okay, you, you, don't, you don't need to know that. It's just overblow. I'm just overbloating you with nonsense. So, uh, okay, I have gauge, so I gotta blow it. Wait a minute. Oh, stupid. Okay, let's do that again. 13 seconds. All right. So during the Death Lord mode, you get that buff right there, okay? 10% attack speed, 10% um, movement, 20, and then 20 crit, okay? Anyways, possession meter is zero. Okay, now, if you need the class engraving, and you use these Death Lord skills, the purple skills, it gives you 5% possession meter. So let's, let's look at the gauge meter. 5% right there, award it, and then you get more after you hit the boss, depending on specialization and... How much gauge they give and your wealth wounds and all that stuff. So what am I saying? What I'm saying is, in these cases, these skills, you don't have to land the first one to get the 5% guaranteed gauge. The other skills, you have to land it to get gauge. Like this skill. Death Order. Sword Drain. You have to land it. If you don't land it, you don't get possession meter. You don't get meter at all. Okay? Now... I don't know if this still persists, but let's get full gauge. Sometimes in the past, I don't know if they fixed this. Lately, I haven't really noticed it. But as you go into the Death Lord mode, okay, and then you come out, you come out and then you cast Vestige. Sometimes it doesn't give that possession meter, okay? Now, it doesn't ha it hasn't happened that much lately. All right, so let's go. Let me spend the gauge here. Okay. So all I need you to understand is that I just, as I said, the purple skills, when you cast it, it gives 5% flat. And then when it lands, it gives gauge again. Okay. So let's look at Reaper Scythe. Okay, 5%. And then when I landed it, more gauge. Okay. These skills, you have to land them. All right. That's all you need to know. And, uh, let's see. The other ones is... Okay, so the best case scenario is you get full gauge, and then you want to start... Right, let me get the... Nightmare. You want to have your Raid Captain satisfied, right? You want to have your Raid Captain satisfied, you want to apply your synergy. And then, let's say you get your full possession meter, and you're like, Oh, it's my time, baby. And then you want to cast Guillotine Swing. And then go into Death Lord mode. This Death Lord mode will affect that guillotine's damage. Because while it's in the air and you go to Death Lord mode, right? By the time it lands, you get the benefit of the Death Lord mode buff. The Death Lord mode buff means Ray Captain's fulfilled and you get 20% crit. Once again, let me show you. Okay. Now. What about guillotine again at the end, Zeals? What about guillotine at the end? You don't want to do that? Because as you come out, you lose the Death Lord buff. So, let me show you one more time. Going into it, your first guillotine gets it. And then your last guillotine loses the Death Lord mode. Okay? It loses the Death Lord mode. But the last one gets affected by the class engraving. It gets affected by the class engraving. Okay, the first one, the first one before you death or mode does not get this buff. Okay, and also the specialization. You don't get the specialization. 
So let me show you to you like this. Okay. Full gauge. Show you that. Okay. So uh, let's say you have the adrenaline and all that stacked up. Blah, 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 blah. Let me just stack it up. Let me just stack it up. Okay. So let's do this. And then now it gets the crit. It enjoys it. And then you're going to be like, oh, let's do this. this. Oh, and then let's say you're like, oh, the boss going to let me do one more because you're running around. Okay. So that one, that one, you don't get the death or mode buff. Okay. The last one. That's why it's not ideal to use uh, the guillotine swing as you come out of it. The ideal rotation in the death or mode is this. Okay. The cycle build is simple. Cycle is... When you come out, you want to start with Astro or your Synergy and then you Vestige with your first shard. You want to get the Vestige on cooldown. Why? Because it has two stacks, right? You want to have one rest. You want to have one, the cooldown rolling. Okay. Now, by the time your third Vestige strikes, okay, your third Vestige strikes right there, you're going to have full meter. Voila. That's why I call it the three vestige cycle. So the first time you, when you come out, when you have no gauge is you want to start with Astra to get to the boss or you want to apply the synergy. And then you want to use Soul Drain because it has a long cooldown, even though Death Order gives more possession meters. But Soul Drain also gives you one, uh, the most shard. Now, as you get the first shard, you better, you better be start thinking about vestige. Okay, just have one vestige because you never want to have two stacks of vestige. That is DPS loss, right? Right? You know how stacks work in any MMO, any ARPG. If you have a stack system, you want to have one used so it's on cooldown so that it's recovering. And while it's recovering, you get you spam the other skills, right? And then you use a vestige. Okay, I'll show you that once again. But then let's say you have the full gauge. You're ready to go. Then you're going to guillotine and then press Z. Okay. All right. That's one thing you want to do. All right. Now let's come out of this. Now, what about in Death Lord mode? What do I do in the Death Lord mode? So let's go back into Death Lord mode. Okay. So in the Death Lord mode, it's preferred that you use Gillet, uh, the Vestige again to get it on cooldown. All right. And maybe you want to use that. Like, let's say you're here and then you want to get to the back of the boss. Okay. And then you put the guillotine in the air and then finish with Reaper Scythe. And then you come out of it. So when you come before you now, if you pick this, um, where is a uh, freaking Trixian? If you use this tripod, which is has a higher ceiling, okay, it has a higher ceiling, but it's harder to land. Okay, watch. Why is it harder to land? There you go. That's why. Okay, that's why it's harder to land. Oh, the boss move. I hate Kango. I hate Kango. I keep moving. Now you can kind of think of like, you should start like, oh, that's another thing I want to give you a tip about. You want to have a lot of tripods. Like you want to have this tripod and this tripod. Think of this as an instacast. And think of this as like, um, like a con gate three, the hidden part, right? Where a boss ain't moving. You break his arm, right? So let's see. Let's do this again. Enter. Let's say you're here. Put it in the air. Now think about it. One, two, bomb. Now, as a guillotine swing lands, because it's delayed, it's delayed. If you Reaper Scythe and exit the Death Lord mode, you lose the Death Lord mode before the guillotine lands. So just have that in mind. Just follow that little simple rule, my friend. That's all I want to say. Okay, I know it's been already 50 minutes. But once again, I'll show you vestige because you want to roll it. You want to roll it, right? The cooldown. Make sure Ray Captain's up, my friend. Okay. Think about it. One Mississippi, and then do it. Now that is really delayed. You could do it faster than that, right? Let's do that again. Get to the back. Back attack. Get that back attack. Right? You don't have to. Let me say something. You don't have to back attack. You don't have to open with Vestige. You don't have to guillotine into guillotine. Okay? Or Vestige. You don't have to. You can break the rule. Just don't end the cycle with guillotine at the end. But in some cases, you might have to do that. 
Because let's say you cannot be in the melee. The boss is like swinging an axe, but your death lord mode is about to end. Okay, then drop the drop the drop the guillotine like that. Okay, you could end the phase with the third guillotine. All right, you could do that. Cause like the Thema is spinning around. Right. So you want to exit? Okay, just exit it. Fine. All right. You could just you don't have to guillotine and enter. Cause like sometimes your guillotine won't be up. And you, no way! You, no, do not wait 20 seconds for the guillotine to come back up. Do not. Your gauge is full. Get in there. Okay, get in there. Start fighting. Do not wait 20 seconds for guillotine to come up. That is huge DPS loss. Once the meter is full, you have to. Uh, not, not, not that word. But you have to go. You have to go. You have to go. Your bladder is full. You gotta pee. Don't hold it in. Very unhealthy. Do not do that. Huge. Huge. DPS loss. In certain cases, it's not. Like, Akan breaks off the destruction phase and the hidden phase. He takes 50% more damage. Okay, there are some scenarios, right? Use your mind. Plan ahead. This is a Nepisher class. Meaning, you gotta use your brain. Think of it ahead. It's not that hard to play. So, Vestige... Okay, you don't have to back attack once again, but you have Vestige, bro. Like, it's like, what? You have Vestige. Okay, not many classes can go through the boss like that. Reaper and Blade. Okay, reposition with uh, Vestige. Once again, but you, you don't have to back attack, though, okay? Right, you have one back attack skill. That's not gonna kill you. Oh, it's a back attack class. No, it's not. It got one skill, dude. Chill out, right? And one, another thing... You can go instacast if you don't like. If you don't like uh, the charge, right? Like uh, Voldis Gate Two, you could drop it. Okay, Voldis Gate Two, you could do this. So that's why you want to learn all the, a lot of these um, tripods because they're cool. Okay, because you don't have to charge like Vestige. Okay, I have all those tripods learned. Wait, what's going on? Okay, let's go here. Okay. Wait, was it this one? I don't know. But like, Trixian doesn't show me the ones I learned. Yeah, you could do that one, right? Like, you could do that. So you have the freedom to do that, right? That's why she's modern, because you could go with charge or not. But I want you to do something, my friends. I want you to learn how to play both. I want you to know how to play with this tripod. This tripod. Okay, Chaos Dungeon, this tripod. Okay. Let me show you that again. The animations. Pretty fast. Okay. How do we make it faster? Go with this one. Okay. I call that drag these nuts. Or you could go with this one. Okay. Obviously the one that falls the quickest has the lowest damage. Obviously the one that is middle of the road does the middle of the road damage. And the one that takes the longest to drop has the most damage. Okay, pick your poison, my friends. Okay, that is uh, why she's so fun because you can pick whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Is there anything else? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I gotta show. You. Okay, let me use my gauge again. Uh, let me see here. Let me look at my mm, notes to see if there's anything I'm forgetting. Because I wrote up an essay for AGS. Oh, Awakening Skill. Okay, so Awakening Skill. You can pick this, The End, or Deathbringer. Deathbringer has Destruction, level 2. Okay, I mean, look. Bro, I'm playing this build because I want to be MVP. I, I am not, I am not going to awaken for destruction, my friend. <laughs> but if you want to, hey, that, that, there's your, there, there you go, right? The more you know, knowledge is power, right? I'm not a freaking destruction, man. No, I'm not going to destruction, awakening, destruct. No, hell no, man. But it gives you all your soul stones. So the awakening gives three soul stones. But is this build like soul stone, like... Are you like dying for soulstone? Not really, dude. You're dying for the meter, the game, the gauge, gauge. 
Okay, so I've tried both awakenings thousands of times. I'm gonna go with the um, the the uh, the end. The the end has a little bit more damage. Okay, and then I just pop the end in. I just pop it in the death lord mode. Death lord mode. Okay, it gets affected by the extra crit in the death lord mode. All right, as well as the ray captain. Okay. Very minuscule, right? Okay. All right. So that's that. And let's see, what else am I forgetting? Oh, charge tripod. Why should you learn how to use charge and instacast? You want to know how to do both. You want to learn both. Charge is you could charge it and then let go. You could let go. I drew a picture about this. You could let go before it fully charges to get the full benefit. It also depends on the latency, right? That's a little bit of min maxing, but there are times where you want to hold it because of tenacity. One extra second you get if you hold it now, okay? Also, it turns about 200 degrees and it's not that T-Rex. It has a decent range. So if the boss leaps backwards or turns, you could turn about 200 degrees. A little, you know, a little fact. Vestige, about 90 degrees. Okay, 90 degrees, has a faster charge. Uh, you, bet, you, get, you get about a 90 degrees, okay? All right, so this one is not protected by super armor, so you want to know the tech of letting go a little bit early. Okay, you want to know the tech of letting go a little bit early. But this one, you want to know how to like, let go early as well as hold it, aim it. What the freak you want to do, right? You saw that tip hit the back? Okay. Because it has tenacity, you want to use it uh, defensively and offensively. Okay. Offensively to land the hit. Defensively, if the boss is doing like a push up or knock, knock you down, right? You want to use that. Uh, let's see here. So the whole thing is build gauge. The faster you build gauge, the faster you get to death lore mode. Okay. And then once you're in the death lore mode, you want to exit the death lore mode as soon as possible without losing any damage. Okay. Rinse repeat. You don't want to hold your meter unless you know a huge perk, like huge, like damage phase is coming. You don't want to hold it. Okay. The more cycles you can do, the more likely you will conquer everybody in the MVP screen. Okay. All right. And one more thing. If you go into endless mana mode, obviously you lose this buff. Does that mean uh, you should like kind of hold out? Uh, if you do the math over a prolonged fight, yes, if the endless mana is about to end, maybe waiting like one second is not the big deal. That is where you become like an advanced soul eater. But like, do you really have to like manage the endless mana and then this, gotta wait for it? No, it's better to not wait and be in endless mana for the death lord mode like if you're in endless mana right now just just do it just do it just get it done okay just don't over complicate it it's better to enter death lord mode unload your load and then get back to build engage okay now let's see i talked about the only death att uh, back attack skill which you don't really have the deck back attack i don't care about that at all okay I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, the tripods. Okay, I'll show you guys that outside. Let me just try to talk about one more combat thing. Combat related. Okay. Uh, obviously, you're not going to have three shards. Uh, also, I usually start with Awakening Potion, right? Like a Sork Wood or a Punisher Slayer Wood, right? That's why I use the end as well, because I have the full three shards as well as the full possession meter. I'm going to enter the fight. OK, get my attacks, uh, the movement speed. Sorry, get the rate copy done. Apply the debuff, the attack. I mean, the damage, 6% damage taken. And then I'm going to open with this and then go into the death or mode and then put in another guillotine. And then I'm going to awaken with atrophine, right? I mean, I'm going to atrophy first before the first guillotine swing, and then I'm going to do the, the, the end. All right. But now you don't have to use awakening potion. All right. So you just build gauge. The building the gauge is like this. Like you enter the fight. You rock the boss with faster goes. Ast what is this guy again? Astaros. Astaros. And then you put the 
and then put the soul, you know, you know, you do the vestige, right? Like, again, you don't have to back attack that. There's my second vestige. Roll your fucking head on the keyboard. Okay. And by the time your third vestige comes, you should have full meters in this build. Three vestige, full gauge. Okay? Pretty simple. And then go into death mode. Okay. Oh, your guild key swings back up. Okay. Do that. And then they do this. And then, like, you know, go like that. Okay, coming out. Do it like this. Okay, probably need to back uh endless mana there. And then Vestige, my boy's coming back up. It's it's not that hard. It's not, that's how it goes, okay? Now I'm gonna show you guys the skills and tripods. The counter skill is this one. Also, please read the skill again. Uh my hair just fell out, I'm balding. Right? Look at which has destruction. She's got destruction there. Also moves halfway across the screen, kind of. Okay. Um, has a good stagger. Okay. And look at this one right here. It has destruction. It has stagger. It has counter. It has super armor. It has tenacity. Okay. Very beautiful skill. Very beautiful skill. The other version which, uh, yeah, be, uh, where's the other version then? This is the other version that I was talking about. This is the coffin tech. Okay. The coffin tech. Okay. It's like a new build that came out. People like it. This is your counter skill. You have tenacity, you have super armor, but you don't have destruction. Okay. Hmm. Now, people say they like this because with Swiftness, Bracelet, and level 10 gem, you can juggle Adrenaline better. Bruh, Adrenaline's not that hard to keep, okay? Now, as for the tripods, here are the tripods. Okay. So, you go this, or you could go with Destruction, doesn't really matter. Like I said, you could go with the middle cast, that's recommended. This one is the slow one, that does the most damage, or you could go with the insta cast, drag these nuts. And then you go with this one. Next, super armor, uh, I mean, tenacity, right? If you're going to go curse daddy, go tenacity. If you're going to go MI, curse daddy. Okay? All right. If you're going to go hit master, go this way. All right? But tenacity. What the frick? Tenacity is awesome. And then you go this one and then this one. Now, you want to go insta cast? You can go insta cast, right? Like, you want to go insta cast for. Wait. Why am I insta cast? Yo, why am I insta cast right now? Okay, anyways, uh, that's the insta cast. I'm gonna put charge, okay? I'm gonna put charge, but you should learn all of them. This should be charge too. Oh, is it because I was like doing chaos or something? Okay, this one is uh, like mana, right? Like if you need mana, like this is freedom, right? If you need mana, go here. Look at that. Look at how many tripods. I'm just chilling. Okay, these are just all utility. The charge, go this way. Astros. Like, if you need the mana, like, this is very preference. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, like, you could increase the stagger to even higher. Okay. And go with this, and then go with this. Now, this one lowers a cooldown. Uh, so that you get gauge more, but it also, you get a debuff that stacks. So that you take more damage. Right there. So you take 3% more damage. Okay, just, just, just be mindful, you know, just be mindful. It's not the end of the world, okay? And this is your... Your synergy skill, right? This is your synergy skill. And what about priority for tripods? The priority for, the priority for tripods is obviously the death or skills for damage. You want to you prioritize those tripods. And then next in order is this one. This fulfills your rate, Captain. 19.2%. Okay? This is your self buff as well as group buff. Okay, now after that is gauge. I'm gonna get the gauge. Gauge is priority. Okay, this is 111. That's universal. And like that. And this one also makes you take more damage, which stacks up with uh, Astros, this one. Okay. And uh, yeah. You get that cooldown reduction. Meh. 
I played without it. Okay, so that's that. Now, what about the other build that I play? This is the build that I played the 413. 413, it's gonna be the same thing with the Death Force skills. Uh Ast Astro, same thing. Okay, death ordered death order. Okay, we're gonna go seven points. Soul drain. And then gluttony. Okay, gluttony here. It was a cooldown. I tried this one as well, but I like this one. It's more gauge, more reliable. Okay. That's that. What runes? Uh, the runes are as shown. Okay? As shown. Now, the ones with bleed runes, you have freedom. This one, you could go with... Uh, like, it, there is a difference between using the blue one. I tested it in Trixian. Versus, you could use, like... Uh, you could use the bleed rune there. And use a cleanse rune here. Or vice versa. Mm, bleed would be better here in a cleanse. You could do the cleanse here. Or you could do, like, stagger rune here. Okay? Then, same... Same thing here, like this. Okay? So if you see the bleed rune, you could put that away. Or you could put the bleed rune here. Or you could put the cleanse rune there. Yeah. That quick quick charge or bleed rune, you could put it in something else. Alright. Now, Chaos Dungeon. Uh, do I have time for Chaos Dungeon? Man, it's already so long. Chaos Dungeon, I recommend this build. Okay? I just gotta go quickly. It's really good, man. This is really good. It's like Predator where like you kill it and it resets. So this is my Chaos Dungeon build. Highly recommend it. There's a lot of sucking. This one sucks. This guy sucks. Okay. This one is cool. Uh, but this one also sucks. And then this one resets right here. This one resets right here. It's like Predator. You know, guillotine. It's cool. So that's that. Uh, I think I have included everything. I don't think I'm missing anything. Maybe I am. I am getting older. Maybe there was something important like... Chaos, Chaos Dungeon. Yeah, I just showed you the Chaos Dungeon. Alright, so I think uh, that's it, guys. That was a long video. And uh, once again, if you don't have those runes, go back to the video where I talked about what you could do. If you don't have all the runes, where to go? Yeah, so do it like this. Okay, so once again, very simple. Get your spec, get your uh, gems, as I said, get your um, engravings, build gauge. All right, roll your face on the keyboard, get the gauge. Yes, there's an optimal order, yeah, but it doesn't really matter, okay? Just get the gauge, press the skills off cooldown. All right, one of the longer ones and get the gauge, three vests to cycle, and then. Go into death or mode and then just follow the rule, okay? Follow the rule. And that's pretty much it. Is there anything I'm missing? Does coffin build build gauge faster? It's the same thing. Three vestige. Three within three vestige. Okay, the difference between the coffin and the no coffin is coffin like adrenaline kind of thing. And uh it's just play style. And the other one is Soul Drain has a longer cooldown, so it's like a two Soul Drain versus one Soul Drain next cycle, two Soul Drain, one Soul Drain cycle. Well, you don't have to think about it, you just hit it when it comes off cooldown, bro, right? It's gonna be within three Vestige anyways, and um, the counter is different. Gl Gluttony has weakness, okay? Okay, that's about it. That's about it. Get the crit. Any questions? Where can I find this? Uh, it's my Google Doc. If I have 1800 spec, but no purple wealth rune, do I have to go for the alternative? Uh, I don't... I don't think so. There is calculation on that, but it wasn't alarming enough for me to under, uh, pick it up. I don't think so. Try it out first. Like, guys, like, not having spec, like, this is the whole difference. You just go into death lore mode a little slower, right? Just a little bit slower. It's not like War Dancer where you don't have three bubbles or four bubbles, right? It's not like uh, you lose like big dig damage. Oh, the last thing I want to share is what is the d damage distribution between being in death lore mode versus not being in death lore mode? Okay. Well, depending on your gemming situation. 
Wait, what the frick? Why is this preset not working? De uh, depending on your jamming situation, the distribution is going to be four to six. Okay. So the, like, just because death Lord mode seems really spiky. Right. Doesn't mean that not being in the death Lord mode doesn't, the damage doesn't matter. It, it adds up is what I'm saying. Okay. It adds up quite, quite nice. Okay. And obviously you want to back attack that. Auto attack gives gauge. Refresh your rate, Captain. And then third vestige is coming up. Refresh your rate, Captain. Obviously, it'll be much faster than this with Yearning and, most importantly, Endless Mana. Okay. That's pretty much it, guys. So, the damage that you're doing outside of the Death Lord mode, okay, it matters. Okay, it matters. It adds up. Now, in Trixian, I'm hitting like 240 mil with the, the uh, correct guillotine. Hmm. How many rotations? It's, think of it as vestiges. Three vestige cycles. Okay. Uh, so if I usually play this, like Guardians, I would play this or this in Guardians. Okay. And this one hits hard. Oh, I didn't go Nightmare, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, I have a supercharged build right now? Okay, I didn't change it back. Okay. Anyways, I don't think I'm adding much more value to the video. So I'm probably going to end it here. Okay, I'll change that. I don't think I'm missing anything. Just need to know that... Yeah, so you guys understood what I said about this, right? Casting this before the Death Lord mode, if it's up. Right? You understood that. But it will not be affected by specialization and the class engraving buff. But it will be affected by the Death Lord buff. And when you're in the Death Lord buff, all your skills are modified by the Death Lord buff. Okay? And then when you exit out of it, the guillotine, as it's in the air and you're out of the Death Lord buff, like when you're using the guillotine on the third one, because it's still in the air as it falls and you exit the Death Lord mode, you lose that 20% crit and the movement speed, so the rate captain goes away. That's just a little thing you need to know, right? Okay? That's it. Is there anything I'm missing? Probably not. I think I included everything, but I'm getting old sometimes. Like, I forget to say things that's really important. That's why I keep asking myself. I mean, I wrote it. That's why I do PowerPoint, to jot it all down. Okay? And no, it's not like Igniter, bro. It, like, maybe it sh it's like the Igniter that it should have been, but it, it's not like Igniter. It's not that slow. Like, if you want to do this combo, like, on Clown, like I did, you could do that, too. Like, you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to Vestige. You don't have to Guillotine next, and then wait for it, and then let go. Remember, you could hold on to this for one more second. Let's say you... Accidentally already started casting Reaper Scythe. You can hold on to it so that it gets the benefit of the Death Orb buff. So let me show you that again. Vestige. And then you're like, oh, I immediately cast a Reaper Scythe. Just hold on to it and then let go. Okay. But if you're like, you want to burst hard, like the clown, you could just one shot it. You could do this too. Bam. Okay, you could do it. My, my, my crit, dude. Crit, man. Okay, let's do that again. Like, the clown's about to get up. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me be in the back. Let me be in the back. So, we're in a burst situation. Very tight situation. You could just do... Yeah, you could you could clap together like that. Oh, I didn't do Nightmare again. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Boom! At the same time. That way, you could skip Mario 1. If they both land at the same time, it doesn't register as two hits. Well, it does, but it confuses the boss so that he won't go immune. Okay? You play around with it. You could do it like this. Right? You could do it like that. But the best case is best is first. All right. That's it.